Hello, I'm Donna Claypool. I'm Programme Leader for the Textiles and Surface Design course and I'm going to show you through some slides that relate to our programme and some of the work that our graduate students have gone on to, to do. Um, so, um, yes, welcome. Uh, our University of Bolton uh, campus is situated sort of five minutes away from Manchester City Centre. It's quite a, a large campus and we're situated within the School of the Arts alongside programmes such as fine art, photography, animation, illustration, graphic design, etc. Uh, and we're located here in this building at the front of the um, campus and we're located across the three floors. And there's also specialist workshops across the campus. You can see here the atrium space, which offers a large um, studio, as well as an exhibition space that houses our end of year degree show. And also our courtyard, which has now more famously been featured in the BBC um, TV crime series traces so do watch out for that um, it's used for many sort of filming locations as well so in terms of our course our first year offers really an opportunity for you to explore a wide range of approaches and really get used to to being at university and getting to know uh, other people getting to work collaboratively meet other people who have come to the university from different programs that are either here in the uk or overseas and really gain a wide range of skills that are necessary for the for the whole program here we introduce students to um areas relating to both uh, the fashion industry and interior design industry as well as greeting cards and gift wrap and we take students through the use of WGSN um, which is a Worth Global Style Network for uh, trend prediction so currently our students are working around three years ahead of season so they're working to the latest colour forecasts that aren't in the shops yet. Um, so here's some, some work from our first year students uh, last year who um, created a whole series of ideas working manipulatively with um, hand applied processes before taking them forward digitally into surface design applications. So in the second year um, we work with Design Studies too. so each year has a critical and theoretical underpinning where you learn about the history of uh, textile design and you look at more sort of contextual aspects that might relate to uh, global practices, sustainability etc. And then we take you through um, two different strands really, one that relates to studio practice and working as a designer for industry and the other one relates to working um, with materials. So in the first year, we introduce you to uh, woven um, papers, uh, non-woven fabrics, felt making, uh, printed textiles, embroidery, embellishments, um, and take you through lots of different sort of hand applied textile material processes. In the second year, we start to extend that to using um, wood and ceramics, designing for different surfaces, surfaces, engraving, laser cutting uh, and really exploring what happens when you combine these areas to look at experimental and innovative processes. Um, here on show we've got some uh, work that students have produced for a surface pattern module uh, where they were designing with companies um, for uh, interior fabrics, wallpapers, ceramic design. Uh, and we had a, a huge show in the Asian space and invited some of our um, industry guests to come along uh, and chat to the students. So the students really had a, a, a chance to see what it's like to exhibit within uh, an exhibition environment at, um, the, in their second year. Here as well, we've got some images of students who worked for um, a company called Shaw's Contract Carpets. So this again is a second year project where students were working alongside Martine Spate from Shaw's and they're presenting their ideas to her. We also have, um, as I've mentioned, lots of workshops in printed textiles, hand painting on screen, patchwork, embellishments, embroidery. We have uh, large format digital printers for fabric printing and also for our um, wallpaper industry as well. We're also quite fortunate to hold about 4,000 books from the Quilters Guild <coughs> in York, which um, recently we've been collaborating with them and running um, a quilting project 
uh, where the students are working quite innovatively with those processes. We've here taken students through into metalwork as well, so applying things in terms of embossing, uh, copper, uh, folding, bending, and, and seeing how they can manipulate different surfaces. In the third year, it's all, all about advancing your practice. And throughout the programme, you've got an opportunity to make choices, choices about what you want to do in the future. So through workshops, you're able to choose and select workshops that you'd want to engage with, explore everything. And then in the third year, the beauty of our course is that you can make your own pathway through. So you decide what you want to do, um, how it links to future jobs and employment in industry or as a self-employed designer maker and you write a proposal that that's, um, is supported by staff and advised by staff um, towards your final creative show exhibition and here we see you know where we've taken students to new designers in London as well. So we have a uh, graduate showcase exhibitions where we take students to um, to, to London but we also have exhibitions on campus as well and here you can see the range of student projects working on ceramics working with materials for interiors and fashion related projects and um, we do ask our graduates to come back in so Abby Coughlin after graduating went on to work as a studio designer working in a mill in India and then since then she's come back to um, work in the UK and often these students come on to give talks. In the top picture here, you can see that one of the students looking at the work is a, as a, a, a graduate called Beth Hunt, who since went on to be a graduate for Sainsbury's Home, winning the Sainsbury's Home Award in London and, um, and now working at Habitat. Here as well, we can see that Abby Coughlin's designs for interiors at her end of year show was picked up by a Brazilian uh, fashion magazine and featured in the uh, as a really as a background to their fashion uh, editorial uh, photo shoots. New designers again. Graduate Amy Kofi went on to work as a um, a teacher, but her design. I mean, she came to us and said, "I want to design um, for a tuk tuk. I want to make one off pieces, scarves, and fashion information." And I'm going to, really, I found an old tuk-tuk and I want to surface wrap it. Now, it was so successful. I mean, she digitally printed the inside. She smocked the inside of the door. She patchworked the roof. And here she's um, showing her, her graduate work to uh, a group of students. But when we went to new designers, it was selected to be front of house in the, um, in the main reception area at, at new designers. So here as well, we've got graduate Lauren Kelly, whose works um, really cross the boundaries across anything she could apply surface print to across scarves, wallpapers, furnishing fabrics, etc. And she went on to work um, for the studio Edinburgh Weavers. And you can see here that she's, you know, many of these students give us testimonials about the time they've had on the programme. We're a really supportive environment. We work as a team. We work alongside our students. And the great thing is that she's really recognising how she's had the opportunity to work with materials and processes that she wanted and that she's got the support through the programme. So here we have Beth Hunt um, showing her work at the creative show that we have on campus and also where she was picked up by um, the team from Sainsbury's Home at New Designers in London. Um, we also have Sam Wood here who went on to be a studio designer at Hallmark. Um, <coughs> uh, Mary Vacani Rodriguez went on to be spotted um, by the Design Architectural Magazine of one of five uh, design graduates who dare to be different and that's from right across the country and then she went on to take our MA textiles and surface design via creative practice program and exhibit her work at the Great Northern Contemporary Craft Fair in, Lon in, in Manchester and you can see here that her uh, final year project was about designing for um, transport design so students don't just work with with the usual they'll try the unusual and that also applies to becky hatton 2020 competition winner for anstey international wallpapers for the idot awards um, and here she plaster casted 
uh, an engraved plaster in the fine art area to use as, as really an idea and starting point to design wallpapers and that gave a second place at that amazing um, design competition. Leah Hanlon, when she graduating, had a, a five month graduate placement at Rosemont Fabrics, and now she's working with a junior design as a junior designer for a company called Steb McAlpin. She also gained a lot of AVA training. AVA is a specialist industry software, um, and we're really pleased to partner with AVA on our program to allow students the opportunity to explore how to put their design into real-time repeats. Now, if um, you graduate and you haven't had AVA training, which is a, it's on a lot of job adverts at the moment, it could cost you a considerable amount of money to have that, but we built it into our program. Um, Scarlett Greenwood went on to work as a designer for Graham and Brown, uh, where she's now working within the design team there. Jenny McCarthy is now working at a company called Sketch 23 Wall Coverings, Fine Wall Covering Design. And um, in 2020-21, she won the um, Bradford Textile Society second place prize for um, the prestigious textiles company. And then when she went to New Designers, she managed to win the associate prize um, and gaining not only a considerable financial sum, but managing to go and work with the design team to put her work into one of their collections. So that's called Copper Falls. So if you look at prestigious textiles website, you'll see the Copper Falls collection was part of Jenny McCarthy's final year major project. And here you can see it in their uh, magazines and online. We have lots of visiting speakers and projects. So last year we had um, designer Lauren Wan, who we met at, on one of our international study visits in New York, and she gave a really inspirational talk to our students. And also Debbie McKeegan, who's the Chief Executive Officer of Tex Intel. So we work closely with um, Tex Intel as well. And also Mini Moderns, um, design team from London, uh, Debbie Gabukum from AVA CADCAM. So we have a wealth of industry speakers. Um, we've got Noelle Gabriel, who again next week, um, she's coming onto campus and she's showing students in the uh, print workshop how to manipulate and use these Japanese folding techniques um, to create these wonderful of fabrics. So we have a wealth of visiting speakers and also many of these are members of our industry advisory board. So we've got a team of about 16 companies and also contemporary craft organisations from the Northwest Craft Network, art galleries and um, studios who give feedback um, on the work that we're creating with our graduates and, and make suggestions for our course as well. Um, so that really steers how our course is developed, so it answers what industry wants. Um, we also have graduate Laura Potter, who's working with us at the moment with the first years. And here she is showing some of her designs for fashion fabrics um, to our student group. And she went on to be a designer for interiors for a company called, a uh, design studio called Artwork Design, selling work all over the world. Uh, for places like Dunelm and Next and, uh, and other companies and now she's working as part of our team as a part-time lecturer too. So we've got lots of different student projects and lots of opportunities throughout the programme to really push your ideas and also to, to link with industry and part of that also involves ex exhibiting at international trade shows and entering a wealth competition. So here we have Kira Allen who won the uh, Surtex design competition to exhibit in New York. And not only that, she went on to win a uh, thousand US dollars as well as a week's exhibition there. And the university helped support her uh, with the, the cost of her flights at the time. So there's lots and lots of opportunities. Uh, we work with Go Hard Textiles and also students such as Leanne Bellis are now working with us uh, online and sharing um, the work that she's currently doing. She, she currently lives in um, Canada, <clears throat> but when she was a student, she had a design placement at Liz Casella in New York. And um, as such, she now um, sells to uh, studios in New York, including Macy's. 
So some of her work, you can see the beautiful um, sketchbooks that, she, that she's created with lots of ideas for colour, um, shape and pattern, testing colours, exploring different drawing techniques and then taking those through to mood boards, design study sheets and final design outcomes. And the great thing is that no two students work is the same on the programme. Everybody's got a very different identity and it's about pushing um, your own work and challenging yourself to be the best that you can with support from staff. So if, again, a few of the students who have gone on to work for UK Greetings, so in the Greetings and Gift Wrap area, or working within Furnishing Fabrics. So Rebecca's now working at Stanfast and Barracks who are part of the Sanderson Group and Demi Carter's working as a studio designer at Edmund Bell. Um, and here we've got a glimpse again of some of our graduate degree show um, showcasing in the Atrium Gallery. International study trips really enhance what you do. So in the past we've been to Paris, Italy and New York and we really take the opportunity to go and see design studios, to meet with industry, to have behind the scenes tours of fabric archives and printing factories. Uh, and giving students some of, uh, of their own time to sightsee as well during during the trips and really seeing how how the industry operates globally but to to widen your awareness of how how small the world is and how you can connect both digitally and in person with opportunities that are happening right across um, the world so obviously now at the moment we're working more digitally with companies but we will aim to get back out on our study visits and more recently I've been back down to London uh, with uh, some of the first, second and third years. So um, Italy, Lake Como and Milan offers us an amazing opportunity to view design studios and also to take our fashion students with us and some of the wide range of trade shows that we've undertaken in Paris, Brussels, New York, these are international trade shows, so they're industry-based, not student-based. So the idea is that we um, give the students the opportunity to see what it's like out in industry and also to connect and network with people who are out there. So this is uh, part of the exhibition for Premier Vision in Paris and how that really supported students understanding how the industry worked. Um, this is Mood in Brussels, where we met with the HP team um, and since acquired one of those large format printers um, for our own workshops and also um, offers, offered uh, the opportunity for students, students to showcase their work uh, and meet with industry. We've got students who graduate and go on to do a range of things. So here we've got Murren Fraser, who again is back in teaching with us. And she graduated and went on to do the teach training program and now works as a designer maker, as well as exploring her own work through exhibiting at workshops. And she works with um, museums and galleries too, um, inspired by their collections to create things for their gallery shops. And this is her one year on showcasing her work at the Manchester Craft and Design Centre and showing some of the products she made. And she's back in teaching some of our students how to promote their work um, alongside staff at the university and how to showcase. Um, all of the staff at, at, on the programme have industry experience. We've been and still are self-employed makers and exhibitors um, with experience of selling our work and working to commission. So all of that experience is passed on to, to our students through our professional practice and employability-based modules. And here we can see at New Designers Exhibition in London, which is graduate showcase for the best of the best of UK talent, which we take all our students to. We don't select, we give you all the opportunity to showcase your work and meet with industry. And that's where the real connections take place. So the the challenge is to make sure that all the work is, is at the standard that it needs to be to be there. You can see our work on our textiles and surface design website at uh, textilesbolton.ac.uk um, and you can see here um, the work of various students who show um, their work across our Instagram page and 
and on our um, website. So yes, textilesboltonuni.co.uk is our, our web-based address, but you can also find us on Facebook, um, Twitter, and more so Instagram. So if you really see what we're doing, have a look at our Instagram page. So if you want to find out any more, then do please contact us and um, get in touch. And whilst our December open day has, has finished, we do offer further open days and you can contact me at d.claypool at bolton.ac.uk. So that's d.claypool at bolton.ac.uk and you can request to come and have a look around the course. Thank you.